nouns it is the most favorite topic of all the english teachers and it's mine as well so let us discuss about noun noun is basically the name of a person name of a place or name of a thing so noun can be a person's name a place name or the name of anything or any object it can be of different types the proper noun common noun collective noun and abstract noun there are four types proper noun will be the name of a person or a place like delhi kashmir india ashok mary pacific ocean white house so these were the proper names right so proper noun will always include the names of the countries the people the cities different cities have specific names right towns so all those names of these specific places will be considered as the proper noun even the names of the people will be considered as the proper noun so the names of particular things are basically the proper nouns the common nouns let us discuss now common noun basically will be a very common word that we can use for a group of people like we can define it in other way we can use a common noun for all the things or persons of the same class by this we mean if we say a book now a book can be a class 10th book or a class 8 book it could be a maths book it could be a science book the bird can be of a different type the country by that i can mean any country across the world the states can have the different names the cities the rivers similarly we can have so many examples like the seas the ranges of hills all these are categorizing the second type of noun that is the common noun because the towns when we say can be of different type a town that is placed in india a town that is in us there can be rivers and there are so many rivers like the narmada river like like the ganga river so many others so noun for people or things or places of same kind are known as the common nouns right and nouns for special people or places or basically the things are the proper nouns so there are same kind of people or places we can have a common noun if there are special or specific type of place or places or people we will call them as proper noun now we can see a flock of sheep sheep here that flock is basically a collective noun we have a group of players together that play and we call it a team so these words flock team are actually representing the collective noun because by saying this single word we are addressing the group of people or the group of things that come under it now over here the kids are asking their mother about the fourth type of noun that is the abstract noun what is an abstract noun that noun that is abstract by that i mean you cannot see it but you can feel it so abstract noun is basically the name of a quality state or an action basically you will not be able to see it for example theft is a noun because it is an action fight is another abstract action war is another abstract action so all these theft war these are all considered the abstract nouns 